Thanks for watching this C-sharp support video. This um, week we're going to go through how to do a for loop, um, but we're going to start by implementing it as a while loop so that you can get um, a reminder of how to do both condition control iteration and count control iteration. So we've got a line of code that will just display one line with a one on it. Um, we want to start at one and, and put a new line for each number going up to 100. So we could do a while loop. Um, let's make an integer called i for counting, set it to 1, and then say whilst i is less than or equal to 100, then that line is going to be repeated, and we must remember to increase i by 1 each time. So this will work, you'll get the points for it, but I think there's a smarter, oh it doesn't work, let's have a look and see, aha! Yeah, I've got a counter that increments, but I'm always displaying the number 1 and to change that to be i, so it shows the value of the variable i as it increases from 1 to 100. There we go. So this is condition controlled iteration because it keeps repeating, iterating based on a condition. Let's refactor it to a while loop instead. So we'll use a for loop. And within for, there are three statements, three things we need to do. First of all, we'll say what we're going to use as a counter, and I'll call it count this time. It doesn't have to be i, and I'll set it to 1. Then a semicolon. Then we say the condition we're going to check each time. So count is less than 101, which is the same as count is less than or equal to 100 that we had last time. And count plus plus will increment it by 1 each time. Um, and I just think for count controlled iteration, a for loop is a much more elegant way, a much more concise way of doing this.